This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, the most I saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole free elect. Coming to another lesson. To the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> in E, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, that the Bible speaks of. Because that's his true nationality. That's his true identity, according to the Most High, which he tries to hide behind all these different titles such as you know uh whites okay american australian you know all these different titles because he's trying to run away from his true nationality okay which they would be the biblical edomites but jumping back to the point see e has used the bible for his benefit he used the Bible to benefit him. And that's, see, these, he does what he always have done. He don't truly believe in the Holy Scriptures, but he has used it as a weapon to his advantage. And he used it against who? The people the book belongs to, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You, it belongs to you biblical Israelites, by the way, and he knows this. He knows this. That's why he's able to use the scriptures, manipulate them, especially because you people, you know, you don't have no understanding. You don't know what the hell is going on. And he has used the scriptures, twisted it and turned it to, you know, his interpretation, you know, you know, uh, and breaking the breakdowns the way that. He wants it to be taught. So now when you see the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets out there on the highways and byways, standing in great boldness, teaching the true word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you people get offended, right? You're still holding on to that Stockholm Syndrome of the traditions of men, okay, the philosophies and, and the false breakdowns that he has always put forth throughout the earth but you don't realize that this man is the devil that he is the complete deceiver upon a planet earth and that he has used the scriptures as a weapon to benefit him okay to continue to get these ill-gotten gains you know continue to keep people's mind by, uh, 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 you know, twist it into his his way of thinking, his mindset or subjection. That's the word I want to use to keep people's minds in subjection. You see, but the men of the Lord, we are breaking down strongholds. We are breaking down that madness, the chains, the, the, the chains of, uh, you know, the darkness on your mind. You see, so that's why he hates what we do. Now, let's get. Let's get the two scriptures real fast. <clears throat> Let's get the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. It says, beware lest any man spoil you. Check that out. Through the philosophy and vain deceit. Because this is what comes out of this guy's mouth. Okay? Vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. And not after Mashiach, you see. So the things that's being taught, pushed all throughout the earth, the mindset, okay, that's being pushed onto the people. And let's start, we start with you Israelites, by the way. These things are after what? These things are after the tradition of men. But don't forget, right? Don't forget. It's through what? It's through his philosophy and vain deceit. Because when you read verse 8, what is Paul saying? He's saying, beware. Beware. All right. Bleepo in the Greek. Bleepo. To look at literally or figuratively. Behold, beware, look or lie. Look onto, perceive. Regard, see sight, take heed. 
And Jake, you're not taking heed. You're not taking heed to the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophet. You're not taking heed. And you don't have the discernment enough to know that this man is the devil. That this man has used the Holy Scriptures, right? The word of truth to what? To deceive many. Why? Because you people don't have the understanding. Okay? And he knows of the truth, okay? He knows of the truth in a lot of aspects. But what he does is he teaches the opposite. He teaches the lie. Because in order to lie, you must what? You must know some form of the truth. Okay? So you can be able to work or put this lie together. Okay? That someone wouldn't think of. Um, yeah, you have, you have to know some forms of the truth. So you can put together this lie and, up, and, and keep up with it. You understand what I'm saying? But the scripture are saying, beware. And this is what we're telling you, Israelites. Beware. Beware of the beast man. Beware of the basest man of the earth. Because he is the complete devil. And you're going to see. You're going to see. Um, I mentioned this. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 25. Verse 7, it says, And he will destroy in this mountain... The face of the covering cast over all people. So what you see happening within this system, within this, you know, this this government, this ruler should be Esau, his uh, you know, is being destroyed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. And it's starting with who? It's starting with the men, the servants, the prophets. See that spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, that vibration, the word of righteousness and truth is being what pushed all throughout the earth. It's being pushed. Through the uh, being put on the forefront, you know, Israelites everywhere, Israelites standing up and preaching everywhere, you know. Now, granted, you got a lot of Israelites to make teach off doctrine, which I'm saying that's it's not okay. But they're teaching Israel that they're Israel. They're cussing out this this devil, you know, telling him he's the devil that the Bible speak of. They're telling all these other nations that they're going into subjection and that. The Israelites will be that ruling class of people once again. We're telling these people that Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, who the world they call Jesus Christ, is on it, is making his return. We're telling people that the Most High God, whom they put in a box, whom they, you know, uh, tried to make it seem like, you know, his characteristics is just love and mercy. We're telling them that when you read the book of Exodus chapter 15, verse 3, what it says, the Lord is a man of war. You see? So this narrative that's being pushed that he's, you know, he's soft and, you know, uh, he just has just merciful traits. They leave out the judgment and his harshness, you know, of the destruction that he's bringing upon a flan the planet Earth. You see, that's just to name a few things. See, we are breaking down that covering cast, you know. So it says he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So a veil is something you cover up with. And he, he has done a beautiful job of covering up his bullshit. You know, but that is being destroyed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Now part of this covering cast, part of this veil that is spread upon over all nations is I always mentioned I always go back to of his lies his deceit and that is being broken this you're witnessing that being broken down so when you see different brothers videos being cut off left and right why because he's trying to he's trying to upkeep with this lie that he has pushed all throughout the planet earth this narrative but now it's at the point where you got the Egyptian versus Egyptian the Edomites versus the Edomites you see truth being revealed the lord putting it on people's spirit uh, eating my spirit to, to reveal this devil and who he is you see